Hey, Hobby. Uh, I just want to give y'all a heads up, maybe a PSA out there. But I ordered a pre ordered a Bowman Draft 2023 Super Jumbo. So it's going to contain five autographs. Um, should contain at least, I would say, three or four. I'm not sure. We'll count them when we go here. Numbered cards. But. I don't know. I normally don't do videos, but I'm going to do a video on this one because these boxes are $700. And let's see. These are some of the, the hits that I got. I'm not going to show you all like the, the paper cards and the chrome cards or the refractors. But yeah, so I got a numbered out of 250 uh, draft pick card from Colton Ledbetter. He was a second round pick. Um, out of Mississippi State from the Rays. So it's out of 250. He's a, a center fielder. He has a little bit of potential, but not great. So I got a refractor out of his uh, draft night pick. So I don't know. He I think he was like a 270 hitter. Not great, but we'll see what he can do. Not a whole lot of expectations. Next, I did get, it looks like some kind of I don't know, purple lunar, or I don't know what the heck the thing is. Out of 199, yeah, Max Anderson from Detroit. He was a second round pick as well at a college at Nebraska. Um, he had a decent debut, but I mean, he's a shortstop. I don't know if he can stay there or not. I don't know much about this guy. Um, I don't know, just okay players. Uh, next. I got some paper cards here. I mean, that Max Anderson was at least a first, I guess. This is uh, Jace Boroff. And I don't know how you say your last name, buddy. I'm sorry. Anyway, this guy was a sixth pick out of Arkansas. Um, actually had a decent debut. Right fielder. Um, it's his first, but like I said, it's a paper. And it is just a uh, 499. So I don't think is that a I don't think that's a blue skies or not numbered whatever it is just a I don't know anyway like I said he had a good debut um, but he was only I think in low A or high A so he needs to get way more seasoning before you can even say anything about him but he's an older guy because he's college but yeah. Next, I got a, uh, a Cam Collier. He was drafted, not this last year in 2023. He was drafted in the 2022 class. He was a first-rounder, a lot of expectations, but he did not hit very well um, that first year. Um, I thought he had more power and more speed, but not great. But I did get a Aqua or whatever this is out of 199 for him. But again, it's not even his first Bowman, so not much of a card there um then i got i think this was my highest number card i got which is ridiculous a chase jaworski he was a fifth round pick this year by the astros uh it is his first um he was a high school kid so he's young and he didn't really he had a small debut i think he just played maybe 10 games at the most he didn't play many games um but no, I don't think he had any home runs, any stolen bases or what, but he hit okay. But out of 150, okay, decent, I guess, but nothing what we're looking for. Um, another numbered car, Reiner Arias. I believe he just came out in the Bowman uh, Chrome over the summer. I got a purple out of him to 250. Yep, 250 purple. Um, he is young. I think he's like 17, maybe 18 years old. I want to say he played in Dominican Summer League this year um, where he had some great stats. But that would have been a nice card potentially, but that's not even his first Bowman. So it means absolutely nothing. Uh, next, we're going to get to the autographs. Got an LSU pitcher. Ty Floyd, not Paul Skeens. So... Ty Floyd was, I think, a late first round or, or maybe a compensatory pick in there somewhere between the middle of the first and second round. Um, did not have any stats this year. 
So from what I know about this guy, he walks a ton of people and he strikes out a ton of people. He has potential, but we'll see. His college ERA, ERA was not great, but I think people are just banking on the fact he's got some devastating pitches. He's got like zero control. Like I said, walks too many people, but just a base auto of an arm. You know how that goes. Um, my next autograph, a Colorado Rockies pitcher, sixth round pick, uh, college arm, had a horrible debut. I think he had a double digit ERA. And when was the last time the Rockies actually um, made good on a pitcher from their farm system? It's Houston Street, maybe. John Gray was decent. He's had some okay years, but nothing spectacular like a top 10 pick should be. But pff, Kay Denton, what an awful card. Just awful. Uh, my next autograph, another pitcher. It's a class of 2023. Um, Johnny Farmello. So Mariners, I don't even know what round he was taken in. I think he was either a second round, I believe, or something like that. I don't know. Nothing spectacular by any means. I guess he's got some decent potential. But, again, it's an arm. So, we'll see. Not numbered, but, yeah. Um, I did get two hitters. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Tops and Fanatics, for that one. Uh, first one, Brock Vradenberg. I guess that's how you say your name. He was a high school, or sorry, not a high school. He was a college bat at Michigan State. Third round pick from the Marlins. And, oh, what do you know? Horrible debut in low A or high A. I mean, he was in single A, Bob. I don't know. Not a great debut. He hit like 230 or something like that. So, awful card of my hitter. So, so far, not a single numbered autograph. All base autographs. But I did get one numbered autograph called Brandon Winker or Winokor. I don't know how you say your name, buddy. Um, you're at least a high school kid. You are a third round pick from the Twins. Um, you had a decent debut. You hit all right. So I don't know. It, you have, I guess, a little potential. It, you're by far, I think, the best autograph I got. Maybe if you want to comment and tell me wrong, if you like the other cards, whatever, but <laughs> this might be my best autograph, I guess. A 150 out of Brandon Winokur. Man, $700, and you get the absolute stuff beat out of you. It's just... I don't know. I may not buy another box ever again. Boxes are too expensive. What you're gonna get is just not anywhere close to what you're gonna want. You're gonna you're gonna lose money probably on eight out of ten boxes you buy. So yeah, buyer beware. You wanna spend that and get that? Okay. Um I use I love ripping wax, but I I could be done. Thank you, Tops and Fanatics, for that. Uh swift kick in the the groin area. Yep, like I said, make it what you will. Spend your money how you want to spend it. I would say, at this point, buy singles. Buy the cards you want. It's better than getting these awful cards. $700, and I think I might have gotten... I could sell those for maybe $200. Maybe, if that. Not much. All right. Y'all enjoy your day. Enjoy your year. Everybody, have fun. Do what you want.